Last month, the Coachella Valley History Museum kicked off their membership drive, which was offering a raffle prize uh, to their Dia de los Muertos celebration. And today, we are helping them reveal the winner of that raffle. I sat down with folks from the museum. Today on Eye in the Desert, we we're talking with Gloria Franz from the Coachella Valley History Museum. And we had you guys on uh, back last year at the end of the year. Uh, and we were talking about an opportunity for membership. And you were doing a little giveaway uh, of an annual membership. And so you've got some names to draw. So we're going to draw out one who's going to win that membership. Actually, they're going to win a, a set of tickets to our 10th annual Dia de los Muertos celebration to take place on November 5th. That's right. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So, okay, I'm not Always cheating. a well-attended event, too. Exactly. Yeah, we should have about 400 people usually. So I'm going to do this live on camera so nobody can say that it wasn't done properly. All right. And the winner is Robert Fearing, F-I-R-R-I-N-G. So we will be reaching out to you, Robert, to tell you how you get your tickets. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Robert. Uh, and you said you had a nice increase in membership uh, during that time frame. Yes, we actually had a 12% increase. So we were very thankful to the community for doing that for us. And of course, we will probably do a few of these over the year because we do need to increase our membership. But it's a lot of fun. We'll, we'll figure out another way to make it a little fun to um, get the information out there. Uh, and of course, when you join the museum, you get access to a whole bunch of great benefits. You get the opportunity to go visit the, the museum on a regular basis. And you guys are working on a couple of really special exhibits uh, particularly your Japanese gardens and the rail car exhibit that, that is coming up. Correct. So the Japanese Memorial Garden um, has been on the campus since the 1980s, but it needed a complete new facelift. And so we were able to go out and connect with the architect who did the Huntington Library Japanese Garden. And he was nice enough to design one for us. We were able to get uh, the community to step up and support us. And the garden was installed in less than six weeks. So it is in now for people to come and visit. It is beyond beautiful, more than I anticipated from the drawing. So we hope you'll come by and see that. Um, and our big project that's coming up that we're really going to move forward to, we started this before COVID, but you know how that went. Um, so we are developing a 15,000 square foot lot that will have a combination of gardens and railway exhibit. We really want to tell the story of Southern Pacific Railway and how important it was and how that stop is really what founded the Coachella Valley. So we have acquired a 1950 stainless steel train car. It's 85 feet long, weighs 80 tons, and is 13 and a half feet tall. It's going to be um, created into a replica of a Southern Pacific sunset limited dining car which will have the ability to seat 40 people and we are planning to have it available for public and private events along with an assortment of drought tolerant gardens to encourage people to have beautiful landscape without using a lot of water and so much more but we are going to go out to the community and really ask for their support we need to be able to tell this story and i won't even tell you how much a train car costs or what it costs to bring it here and restore it. But please reach out to us. We'd love to have you be part of the people that make this possible. Uh, give people the website so that people can uh, come and find you directly and maybe make a donation, find out more about your mission. Sure. The website's pretty easy. It's our initials. So cvhm.org, Coachella CV Valley History Museum.org. CVHM.org, very easy to find. Mm -hmm. Great history of about the entire valley and really going back to its founding, as you point out. We're looking forward to this. Uh, the Railway and Gardens exhibit is going to be spectacular, but go and support the Coachella Valley History Museum. Gloria, always a pleasure to have you on. Thank you, Patrick. Always appreciate you taking the time to share our information. Have a great day. You too.